Hello my beautiful lovelies, the Black Widow here and today I'm coming to you with a My Animals Not Tarantulas video. So basically I'm going to show you all the other animals that I keep, whether that's reptiles, fluffy creatures and all that kind of stuff. We are going to take a look at um, some spiders but only to do my checkups and things, whatever's out is out and anything that's not won't be seen. Um, we're also going to check on my C. lividum female because she laid a sack about a week ago now and I just want to make sure that all of that is going fine as I think she laid it a lot later than I expected. So I'm not actually going to be able to pull the sack or at least I'm going to have to just keep an eye on it and see how we get on with that. Um, and so that's what we're going to do today. I'm not feeling 100%, so I wanted to film this video and edit it and tr try to get it out before I get poorly because I feel a little bit off today. Um, I also wanted to ask you something that I would really like to do is I want to do a pet YouTuber reacts video. So what I need from you, my lovely subscribers, is to go onto YouTube, go onto TikTok, go onto wherever, find some animal related videos um whether you think it's a cruelty issue or negligence issue some a cute video something funny even maybe other youtubers videos or even some of my old videos and get me to react to them um because i just i really love pet youtuber reaction videos so that's something that i would really like to do so i will put some links in the description use that to send me your clips whether it's uh, send it via email, send it over Instagram, send it over Facebook, comment the link down, bef down below, whatever is easiest for you to do. But I would really like to do that in about a week. So if I can get enough clips, I shall do a pet YouTuber reaction video. So I'm going to stop rambling and we're just going to jump straight into the video. So the first little pretty beautiful fluffy boy that I'm going to show you is this boy here. This here is Magic and Magic is also affectionately known as Butthead and the reason he's affectionately known as Butthead is because he spends most of his time butting my head to get cuddles, don't you? Hey. So this is Magic and how old are you now Magic? Magic's probably about six months old so he's quite little still he's my little kitten and he doesn't want to play today um so that's one of the cats i will now see if i can wrangle the others so the second cat that i own is maverick and he is a very big cat he might not look very big on screen but he is and he is beautiful maverick is also affectionately known as my fluffy boy yes for obvious reasons because pff, look at that that is just ridiculous. Yeah. So he is my fluffy boy. And Marcy, my little girl, calls him her lion. Maverick. You are fluffing everywhere. Can you see, boy? No. So, right. Um, yeah, so Maverick is actually a kitten that I produced between my male and female, which I'll show you in a minute. Actually, you can see... See this one just here. That, that lazy twonk over there, that is Marvel. Marvel is um, a third male. So Magic, my black and white, is male. Maverick, my fluffy boy, he is also male. And this one over here, Marvel, is also my male. He is affectionately known by my daughter and just all of us in the house as Tiger. No particular reason, it's just what Marcy used to call him and it just stuck. Um, so a little bit about those three. Magic, my beautiful black and white, is a pain in the backside. He's a baby, he's into everything, he wants affection all the time. It's like having a toddler, he is, are you constant? Are you constant? Are you? Come on then. Are you wanting love? You want some love? Come on then. Come on. See, he just, he wants attention all the time, um, which is fine by me. He's adorable and I love him. Maverick is a bit bonkers, my fluffy one, wherever he's, wherever he's gone. There. Maverick 
is also a pain in the butt. He likes to get in the bin. And he's also known to poop in the bathtub if he's not let out at an approach. Do really? Come on, I'm trying to make a video. And there is still fluff from Fluffy Boy. Um, yeah, he's a bit of a pain in the ass. He is always in the bin. I always find things on the floor um, the next morning that he's pulled out of the bin because he wants to eat it. Um, and he will poop in the bath if he cannot be let out in, in good time. Marvel is my baby. He is affectionate and cuddly and he is the least annoying. This is how he spends the majority of his days and nights. Um, he just wants to sit next to someone or on something and preferably just wants to be left alone. Um, and he's a snuggle bug. You can cuddle him and pick him up and he doesn't try to get away. He's very happy to be affectionate. Um, and I'll show you my one female. She's uh, She's been neutered, so don't worry. Uh, no, no, no more kittens and babies. But Marvel and my female that I'm going to show you did have, did have Maverick, just the one kitten. And um, that was... Um, Maverick is, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 months old. Marvel and my female that I'm going to show you, Malvada, is um, approaching around two years old or a year and f four months or, or something like that. I actually rescued Marvel and Malvada. You can go and check out that video because it is on my channel. Um, I found them abandoned with their mum and I spent three days trying to catch these kittens and eventually I caught them and once I caught them obviously I couldn't let them go. Marvel? What? Maverick? What? See, they just follow me everywhere that I go. Where's my father? Hey? That would be Isaac saying I think she's out. Marvel, what is it? What is it, my love bug? Marvel. So this here is Malvada, the queen bee of the household. And she is wonderful and I adore her. Um, see, they're all, they're all following me. They just go everywhere that I go. She is absolutely wonderful, but she is not overly friendly to the boys, not most of the time. Mavada, Mavada, hey darling. She's also a super fluffy girl. She loves me, but she's not sure about other people and can be quite skittish. What have you got stuck on your tail? You've got things stuck on your tail. Yes, you have, yes. So those are all four of my cats. One female, three males. It keeps me busy, but I adore them. Okay, so I thought I would just have a little check on my C. lividum, and you can see the egg sac. So everything looks like it's going perfectly well. Mama is sat on it. She's a beauty. She's just there. Um, so all looks like that is still going well. So I'm not going to disturb her. I'm going to completely leave her be. Um, she used to be fairly out in the open and as you can see she has a cork tube here that goes all the way down but instead of using that she dug a big hole in the back here and burrowed all the way down and that is where I like these um, arboreal type enclosures even for, um, for fossorial species because they they can do this they can go and you could even put even more in there and these unless you lift this won't open so if you have something like a Cirripagabus lividus which is what is in here like an old world you won't have to worry about it escaping or, or anything like that because um yeah the lid is lockable so yeah I'm really pleased about that so I'm going to go ahead and put her back and leave her alone so I just want to say I actually didn't breed the C. Lividus, uh, Lividus Lividum green femur. I bought her from the spider shop as a wild caught adult female. This can happen sometimes. Um, and apparently these can be quite difficult to get to drop. So obviously I'm hoping that my conditions were just naturally quite good because obviously I didn't know she was gravid and I've just been keeping her with no 
no added heat or anything like that and she's produced so i'm hoping hoping that these eggs are good and that this sack is good and that she doesn't eat it this little one here doesn't actually have a name this is its enclosure i need to top up the water he's going to come shooting out when i open this because he thinks there's food this is my little Aki monitor really really lovely little guy very intelligent has grown substantially in the last few months i'm actually going to get him some food and uh, get him feeding for you so bear with me so he's just come out and i'm going to plop some food in and he will go for it straight away he or she i don't know what this is yet male or female and it's de destroyed its enclosure. This cork bark here, that used to be upright here with all these leaves on it and it's completely knocked it down, which is great. You gonna come back out and get these? Look how clever it is working it out. Yeah. And he will use the ground or a any kind of surface to push it into its mouth and swallow it whole. This is the way that all monitors eat. This is a fairly small monitor. It will only get to uh, maybe two foot, three foot. And there it goes. See if it can figure out that there is another one out here. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Come on. Did you see it the way it moved and wriggled and snaked its body a second ago? That is its way of wriggling that food down its down its into its mouth and down see it again in a minute yeah it kind of does this weird s shape yeah it's doing it yeah there we go wriggle 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 very very cool there it goes pushing that food down i love monitors and in the near future I hope to get a much larger monitor, but that kind of stuff takes time um, because you need to learn, obviously, all about them before before you just go ahead and, and get a very large monitor. Uh, cats are up here because there's wiggling worms that they want and because the animals are moving about, so they're looking at what they might be able to get hold of. Uh, nothing is the answer. Get down from there. Get down, magic. Get down. Don't growl. Don't growl at him. You are a naughty girl. Naughty girl. You're a bit of a bitch, aren't you, really? Mavada's pretty nasty to everybody except me. She growls at the boys. She growls at everyone else. And, yeah, she's kind of mean. Okay, so now we move on to my big, beautiful, bearded dragon, Beatrix. Beatrix is actually a dude. It's not a female. She was bought as a female um, 
but she is not a female and she has this great big log that I found when I was out working that I picked up oh my poop poop I'm not gonna lie this whole enclosure needs basically redoing because I did use that clay stuff I wanted to build you know like rocky areas that it could climb on and it's been destroyed and this whole enclosure looks a bit of a mess to be honest but very large enclosure for the bearded dragon i'll get some food out and see if he she is hungry don't stereotype okay she's gender fluid so this one i usually will feed um i will usually feed a variety of different insects and um i dust it with the vitamin vitamin calcium sort of powder this helps prevent um like metabolic bone disease along with the, uh, the big uv light up there and of course the heating system uh, Beatrix will also eat a variety of fruits and vegetables as a treat. Usually Beatrix will just come down and take food that she can spot or I will hand feed her. Are you going to come? Want something from there? Want something from there? These are not actually her favourite, these, these Mario's. Um, what? What's on that? Beatrix is a fussy dragon. So I'll give her a couple more. Come out. Get it. Get it. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Chomp, chomp, chomp. <laughs> chomp, chomp, chomp. Want some more? Bearded dragons they are awesome beginner dragons for someone who wants to get a pet lizard but doesn't want anything too large. Um, this dude or girl won't um, won't get any larger than this, to be honest. You want more? Not having too many of these. These are quite fatty. Um, I don't usually... These are not her, her main diet. As you can see, she's had some vegetables on her plate. I don't know. See if she'll want a little bit of a little bit of want some of that very fussy dragon D not interested usually just wants the bugs but she will he she will also eat fruits and vegetables and greens and all that kind of stuff um its favorite food is the hoppers the locusts but these will do take this off you don't obviously don't want this which don't blame you because it was food for this I was just seeing if she was interested I'll give her some fresh greens a little bit later on today she has had a very small handful of greens this morning but she'll get some more a bit later <laughs> I do like beardies what what is it hey? are you a grump Oh, grump grump yeah so in here we have my uh my boa constrictor and i will show you um i've just lifted up her hide so i can show you and the reason she looks absolutely massive is because she recently had quite a large meal she looks very very swollen considering the meal was definitely appropriate appropriately sized for her um i even posted a video she didn't look quite this big when she first consumed it so I'm kind of hoping that, you know, that she's she's going to be okay with this meal because um, she does look very, very thick. Um, boa constrictors can consume stuff that's really quite large compared to themselves and she will have a good shed after this. But just so you can see her enclosure. It's quite big and she's got a second hide over in the, the cooler corner. She currently sat on the heat um, which is up there to help her digest this meal um, looking a bit dry in there so I'll give it a spray down shortly um, but yeah this is my boa constrictor and I put the um, the morph type on screen because I can't actually remember off the top of my head but she is stunning she really is stunning but yeah she looks very she looks very swollen because she has just had a meal um, literally two days ago she's just had a meal um 
but yeah, boa constrictor. So that is all the animals that I keep. I also have an African clawed frog um, in the kitchen. Um, but I actually fed it this morning and it's currently refusing any more. I can still see that it's holding on to some food, so it hasn't finished eating, so I'm just not going to show him right now. Mr. Webster, he was given to me by the lovely Peter Webster, um, but in the next video I'll, I'll feature him as well, um, because he's an awesome animal. So yeah, that's the all the animals that I keep outside of my spiders. I did have a look at the spiders, but nothing was out, everything was in hiding. They've all been uh, very recently fed, and quite a bit, due to trying to get fatal fang clips. And anyone that doesn't know, fatal fangs is a epic YouTuber battle, um, 1v1, where we use feeding clips to go up against each other, and a panel of other YouTubers, judges, will decide... Um, who the winner is each round until we eventually conclude with a champion so do go check that out on amy's channel at pet rock and roll i will uh put the link down in the description i am going up against um tarantula life i'll put the link down in the description for that channel as well go and show him some love um i am not a super competitive person i'm just really happy to be taking part and if i get knocked out first round then i get knocked out first round and judging by this dude's failed feeding clips that he's sent a bunch of us youtubers he's probably gonna crush me first round but i will enjoy seeing everybody else's videos just as much as um i would enjoy it if i if i go forward any further if i don't make it through to the first round or i make it through the first round and don't get through the second round I, whenever I get knocked out, I will eventually upload the clips, the six clips that I was going to use for Fatal Fangs so that you, my subscribers, can see um, what I was going to use and you can judge them yourself compared to the clips that you see on, on, on the other channels and things like that. Just because it takes a lot of time and effort to get these specific clips and to edit them a certain way. So I would like you guys to see them even if, you know, I get knocked out first round, which I'm probably going to, but even so. I am super looking forward to a particular battle um, from Fatal Fangs, which is Adam the Invertebrarian is going up against Sam from Bug Grounds. That could not be a better matchup for a, for, for, for a battle, in my opinion. Two awesome dudes, love them both, so different, different channels, um, and I'm sure there is some behind the scenes um, battling going on between the two because they are also very good friends so i'm really looking forward to that so do go and check out amy's channel please 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 go and show her love because she has worked her butt off to pull this together with 64 contestants that means there is 64 youtubers taking part plus the admin team plus the judges it is going to be absolutely amazing and hopefully the first round will be out in in a week two weeks um depends on how amy can you know how quickly amy does these things and and obviously it's an extreme amount of hard work so i am in no rush for her to put these the um the first round out i'm just looking forward to taking part so i shall shut up and i shall start rambling now um but once again comment down below with a link or send me an email instagram with a pet video that you want me to react to whether it's because you think it's negligence whether you think that the keeper is not doing something right it could even be a photo of an animal you could even use one of my old videos and have me react to it because i do not watch any of my old videos because they are mortifying and i had no idea what i was doing um, or you can have me react to one of your videos or to another YouTuber's, whether because you think it's funny, cute, sad, bad, whatever, I will react to it and I will push that content out next week, middle of next week, if I get enough clips. So, without saying any more, because I'm now out of breath, because I have not stopped talking, um, I will see you guys again next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I found out recently that about 72% of people that watch my channel, I'll put the graph here, are not subscribed to my channel, which is mental. If you enjoy the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys again next time.